Hello and welcome to Asimdu TV Studio. My name is Rina Nieminen and I will be hosting Compost Studio Photo today. With me here I have uh, Santu Pajukanta Hello. and Antti Myyrä. Welcome. Hi. Thank you. So, what did you think about today's entries? So, I was also in the jury of the competition. Uh, we saw all the 41 uh, entries and ended up on, on these 13 to be displayed on the screen. And overall, the uh, level was really varying. Uh, and I think um, we ended up on a, a fairly representative selection of pictures. I mean, we had some kind of overarching uh, themes in the entries. We had lots of nice pictures of animals. Mm. <laughs> uh, we had lots of landscapes and then there was trick image trick or, or images where specifically constructed images in which you could see that a huge amount of effort went into those. Yeah, uh, actually I, I hadn't seen the entries before just now, so I've been pretty new to this, but um, I think um, there's quite much of scenery, almost, I don't know, if t even too much. Um, I don't know if we should have a team for the competition sometime in the future. So we could have, well, not all landscapes aren't bad, but we could have something else as well. Yeah, that's actually something I tried to kind of strike up philosophical discussion about in the jury that uh, now we have uh, in the same competition, we have like uh, landscapes, we have animals, we have interesting trick photos. Um, so you could kind of group these up to these trick photos, these kind of uh, photos that we are used to seeing in an assembly competition because this yeah. is a demo, demo scene event. Yeah, of course. So, mm -hmm. so we see this kind of uh, specific kind of photos in a demo scene event photo competition. And then we have the kind of honest photography uh, <laughs> on top of that. Yeah, and then I think the most interesting parts are some of mixtures of those where we have um, scene photography some sort of but then there's also trick imagery some catch there yeah, yeah on top mm. definitely yeah yeah but and it, it's really different because yeah now uh, in these entries there were a lot of really really nice backgrounds and uh and nature pictures but then you don't have to as a photographer maybe do so or don't, you don't have to be so clever as in the trick photo photos so you have to yeah, you have to think differently when you're making And That's it. right. Of course, a lot of the photographer's original vision goes into taking or framing the landscapes as well. Mm. But it's a different kind of photography than those trick photos are. Mm. But also, it's, it's somewhat difficult to assign scores on the same scale to landscape photos and animal photos and then these interesting trick shots. Mm. And I think um, the voting public is going to have to kind of ponder that as well when, mm. when, when voting in the competition. Yeah, that's true. So how do you compare those against each other? Yeah. Like you have a landscape photo and an animal photo. Yeah, that's exactly the problem. Yeah. yeah. So let's start looking the entry. So our first pick yeah. is the eighth one, Pink Lady. It was one of the nature pictures. Yeah. yeah. I. Uh, requested this to be shown in the studio because I think this was kind of representative of the landscapes we have in the competition. Mm. Yeah. And, and, and we had nice landscapes, but this had this kind of an interesting original twist to it, not just showing the mountain landscape, but also yeah. adding a, a new element to it. Yeah, also the, yeah, the per person in the picture makes... It, well, it's a good contrast between nature and human as well. But there's, um, I think it, it could do without the forefront where the, there's yeah. bushes. It's, also it's in the jury we were displayed the original shots and this has been cropped and the uncropped version displayed that there was a, a high, uh, uh, there was high vegetation in front. So I think also the crop in this image might have been kind of out of necessity. Mm. Yeah, of course. Mm. But I don't, I don't know, could, could it be cropped even more? Might to, be, yeah. yeah to, include only the background, not the foreground, of the photo. Yeah. yeah. So the next entry we picked was the 11th Fury Breakfast. This was a little bit uh, maybe mixing up comedy and a beautiful picture. Yeah. <laughs> I would have kind of hoped the 
fuel in the picture to be edible, but <laughs> unfortunately it isn't. Yeah. But this is kind of uh, at the boundary of this kind of trick shots and honest photography, I think, <laughs> that um, the idea is very original and, 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 and I like this kind of theme that hot chilies and, and, and fire together. Yeah, that of course. Uh, I'd actually like to see the other pictures that were taken with this shot, with the ch chili burning up more and yeah, more. Yeah, the kind of the, 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 the yeah. preparation of the chilies and the knives that the chef or the <laughs> photographer used to prepare them. It was really nice to have this kind of work in progress shots. Yeah. Usually we only got the original together with the final competition shot, but this one had lots of uh, intermediate steps. <laughs> and it was fun to look at them. Did, did you get the burned up chilies at the end? No, well? unfortunately not. Oh. <laughs> but, but, but we did get uh, shots of the knives that were used to chop oh. the oh, nice, chopped nice. chilies. F food pornography, yeah. sort of. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but it was actually, I think it was really beautiful also because uh, with fire and water, it's, it's always hard to do uh, really like successful photography so yeah. I think that was really really beautiful picture of fire also, also. very nice use of color in mm -hmm. the photo and, and the setup was quite nice too with all yes. the cheese and apples and all that yeah that's right background. Yeah. yes really beautiful arrangement okay next one is the 12th crack of dawn <laughs> okay so we had two of these insane uh, trick shots yeah. in the <laughs> yeah. competition and, and and this is the first one and um, well, this is the kind of photo that I expect to see in a demo scene event fo photo competition. So uh, it, it makes you think whether this is some kind of insane ray tracing or an actual photo shot. Yeah, but it's re re really nice. Usually you see only those pictures when you're at a um, Swedish boat and with all, all the ads, but usually they're much more photoshopped that way. Yeah. Mm. But this is done without it, so it's spectacular in that way. Yeah, the rules of the competition uh, specifically forbade uh, any local adjustment yeah. to the photos. So uh, you could think that a photo like this is heavily retouched in that way, but it isn't because the competition forbids it. Yeah. So, uh, uh, what was the liquid used? Did you mention? Uh, just, just water, I think. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not, not vodka? Yeah, <laughs> or, or not gin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's perfect ad picture, and yeah, <laughs> Could you be, get yeah. really actually thirsty when you look at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and our last pick is the 13th, the last one, Beam Me Up. And yeah, this was a really big surprise for me <laughs> when this, this one came. Yeah, when you see yeah. this photo the first time, it kind of makes you think that, is this really an actual photo? Yeah, and it's, it just blew me away. Like. First, I couldn't, couldn't imagine how it was done. Yeah. Yes. First place. So basically, we have yeah. this kind of um, uh, lots of uh, optical fibers that are used to wipe the contours of the model, yeah. and 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 the optical fibers are lit up using a flashlight. So uh, it makes this really interesting effect, yeah. and and together with the previous one, this is really kind of demo scene photo stuff as yeah, I as I see true. it. Yes. There's also a real nice background to it as well. Yeah. yeah. And and so the background would be other, otherwise dark but the the uh, optical fibers have left those traces in the background yeah. and and the traces are fairly sharp especially in the upper part of the photo. So it's a really interesting effect and 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 this is a really cool photo yeah i don't think we have seen pictures like this before in photo condition have yeah we? i remember last year we had uh, a a shot a bit similar to the previous one that we had here yeah. actually mm. from the same competitor oh. but um i think um we uh, are kind of still ramping up this uh, kind of effect or trick photography in the competition. Yeah. So I'm really interested in seeing um, what kind of trick shots we will see in the future, in the coming years, in the assembly photo competition. Yeah, yeah. yeah Ho hopefully people good. will get more ideas out of that. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and I would actually, yeah, I'm really also interested. How did they manage to get the nose so sharp? Yeah. It's really beautifully made. And even though, or yeah, I really love that the idea is actually pretty simple. But still, they uh, got like it's straight, straight from a game eh? or somewhere. Or you think it's yeah. all, all yeah. photoshopped? 
some kind of a, a, a rendered image or, or an image from an as if it were from an ASD demo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, so thank you for being my guest in here, yeah. Compo Studio for thank photo. You. Yeah, thanks for inviting us. <laughs> and I think next is uh, starting the music compos, so we will be seeing you soon.